We're going to take a look at weather right now. Beautiful day today and also right. the sky. You know what's interesting this morning, uh, Marion and Stefan, I was on a conference call with the weather, uh, Space Weather Prediction Center. Fascinating stuff about uh, the Aurora Borealis and this uh, geomagnetic storm coming toward us. Your eye doesn't see as well as your cell phone does. A newer ah. cell phone. So if you point that to the sky tonight when the northern lights are out we'll there, to see what you might not see, your cell phone could capture. That's a so good that, tip. That's really cool stuff. Yeah. And the other thing is you don't have to unplug your toaster and your microwave. Right. Uh, this geomagnetic storm induces a magnetic field that will affect like high voltage power lines that go for hundreds of miles. Could induce a current on that. Could be a power grid problem. Could be a problem for low earth satellites yeah. because the atmosphere becomes more dense. There's more friction. Mm -hmm. So the satellite slows down and wants to re-enter the atmosphere. So you're going to have to fire off the thrusters. So all of those companies have been notified okay. by the, the space weather Heads people. Up. But for us, uh, will we see it? That's the big question. Let's uh, take a look at what it looks like. Now, we shared this at the top of the broadcast. I want to do it again. It's so cool. It, it is it very is, cool. It is a great it's image. It's like a 3D computer generated. It does. It's a real deal. Well, it looks fake, doesn't it? Yeah. But it's real. It's from the GO-16 satellite, and that's what the sunspot looks like. And again, 16 times the diameter of the Earth, and that's firing off these charged particles uh, toward Earth. One of the scientists that I was uh, listening to this morning was saying it's like a cold front coming. You get this burst of energy coming across and then behind it there's subsequent waves so it's not just a one-time event and look at the projected area that could see the northern lights that goes all the way down to Tennessee perhaps even Alabama now there's uh, the KP index it's a scale of one to nine that uh, measures the severity of the event we're forecast to be around a KP 8 so if the sky's clear a very good chance you could see those charged particles lighting up the uh, the molecules in the upper atmosphere the uh, oxygen giving you that a beautiful kind of greenish halo look even some uh, blues from nitrogen so very incredible stuff possible tonight around one o'clock in the morning a kp8 that's the peak and because this isn't just a one-time wave coming through there could be subsequent charged particles coming this may even continue into the weekend so if you miss it tonight there's probably a chance you may see something as uh, we go into the rest of the weekend